Since I was a little kid, I've always had a great desire of building things. I was fortunate enough to have a dad who was an engineer at Motorola, and because of this, I was given a personal computer at a very young age. I fell in love with the computer as a tool, and it's what fueled my early desires to one day go and work in Silicon Valley. So if someone had told me years ago that I'd end up working at a university, I would have laughed. But here I am today, and there's no place I'd rather be. Prior to taking the job here at ASU, I was already working at a big tech firm out in California. I was supposed to be living my childhood dream, but it really wasn't everything I thought it would be. And so for me personally, what I was looking for all along happened to be right where I had started, here at ASU. It was at ASU where I was given this unique opportunity to build an interdisciplinary team of our finest students, drawing from business, engineering, the arts, the sciences, and bringing these students together in the pursuit of huge, moonshot ideas. We call this initiative the Luminosity Lab. We dream big, we take risks, and we design, build, and deploy innovations that are capable of impacting society. Two years later, we now have over 50 students working on large complex projects of all types, from autonomous safety drone systems to AI companions that will change the way that people learn. And each year we get a little more ambitious, and we're currently launching new projects to make impacts in the fields of healthcare and energy. And with all the success so far, I'm often asked, why did this work? And I really feel like it boils down to the culture we're developing. We've created this environment where our students truly believe that they're on a mission to change the world. And I personally believe that people will meet the expectation that's set for them. And we're beginning to move away from the traditional expectations set for college students, where their primary objective is to do well on tests and assignments, to an expectation that they will use their knowledge and their creativity to innovate new solutions for society. And we give our students the trust and the agency to conduct this kind of work. When students in Luminosity get their first project, they often ask me how I expect them to solve it. It's almost as if they're waiting for a step-by-step -step guide. So I have to tell them, you are being asked to do something that no one's ever done before. There's no playbook to innovation. You are here to use your creative genius to find a solution to this problem. And for the students, I think this is greatly empowering because time after time, they rise to the occasion. And all of this has allowed us to create a great culture of great passion and creativity in Luminosity. One where our students are staying up all night, night after night, having the time of their lives working together on things they know will one day make a difference. At the end of the day, it's a small group of people coming together with great energy to share their talents and knowledge for the purpose of making a large scale impact. And I've seen firsthand the power that groups like this can have. So my challenge for all of you would to be to go out and form your own action-oriented community of problem solvers. Find your friends, your colleagues, and your family, and bring them together in the pursuit of a challenge greater than anything you've ever tackled. There is no playbook to the world's next big idea, so don't wait for one. Find your team, go out, and pursue it, because the impact you're capable of having on this world is like no other.